go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kathleen Hill. I'm a member of Ward 7. Um, Mr. Mayor, council members, every once in a while, you drive by a house that used to be pretty nice. But then you notice some changes. First, the lawn isn't cut. The weeds start to grow. The shrubs are overgrown. The house paint starts to peel. The screens are torn. There are extra cars in front. Some never leave. Some have flat tires. You think to yourself, well, that's not good. Drug house, abandoned, squatters, and you keep driving. Now think about driving through a city. There are pretty parks, clean streets, nice walkable paths, and appealing yards and neighborhoods. You think, what a nice place to live and work. And you slow down to contemplate the possibilities. But when there's trash on the sidewalks, graffiti on the light poles, abandoned property throughout, it looks acceptable to litter. And it looks like the laws aren't being enforced. It looks like a city in decline. You just want to pass through quickly. You don't want to stop and shop, and you surely don't want to live there. Illegal signs are trash. They are graffiti. They are abandoned property. Often they promote non-local businesses or even scams. We have hardworking, law-abiding local businesses here who follow the rules. They advertise by purchasing ads in local papers. They sponsor school sporting events and advertise in school publications. And they advertise via social media. They do things legally and they respect our city and other businesses and I want to patronize those businesses. When codes aren't enforced, illegal signs proliferate. First one fitness center, then the next, <laughs> then blinds, then painting, then gutters, then window cleaning. I'll buy your diabetes test strips. I'll buy your lawnmower. I'll buy your ITV. I'll buy your house. Residential real estate signs located at the property for sale make sense and are and should be legal. But now there are myriad signs giving driving directions to houses for sale, then more directions, and then in an effort to compete, other realtors add their directions. Doesn't anybody have a GPS? <laughs> then to make the signs stand out from the others, the real estate signs at homes now light up at night. Where does it end? <laughs> enough is enough. All the signs are distractions for drivers and often make it unsafe for drivers and pedestrians. They can be blown into the road, block sidewalks. They're unsafe for our workers, utility workers. They can damage mowing equipment and injure city workers. There are codes for a reason. This is becoming a problem across the nation. I brought a link to news stories that other people are facing. And I brought a brochure that they use in Fort Worth, Texas that's really effective. I brought sign codes from other states that you can find other ones as well and also a public service announcement. Great, thank you very much. Uh, are there any questions? Houses light up? What's yes, the, um, signs? 4485 Century Drive now has an LED lighted sign for sale. It's Keller Williams and at night it goes on at dusk and it's brighter than you can imagine. There's one right off Liberty 2 on the other side of Liberty huh. for Ward 7. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you.